5G. It's the next generation of mobile internet. As you'd expect with an upgrade, we'll get faster speeds, much faster speeds. What's really exciting about 5G is its other features, which combine to enable new future experiences and services. Firstly, it has super low latency of less than a millisecond, meaning the delay between sending and reacting to information is now almost real time and is even faster than us humble humans. This could pave the way for self-driving cars, remote robotics, mobile VR, gaming, anything that needs an immediate real-time reaction. On top of this, 5G also has a much bigger capacity than 4G, meaning it can handle many more connected devices in one area. Hello, Internet of Things. As always with new tech, there's a lot of hype. Full rollout is years away, and the standards of how all this will work are still being figured out. And what's this got to do with broadcasting? And what is the BBC doing? Let's find out. My name is Georgie Challoner. I work in digital strategy at the BBC, and I've been involved in thinking about what 5G might mean for us. One day we believe that all content will be delivered over the internet, and the internet can deliver much richer experiences to audiences. And as well as this, the increasing use of smartphones mean that more content is consumed out of the home and on the move. So there are two main issues with existing mobile internet at the moment. One is capacity, which means that it can't handle the volumes of traffic that we want to put over the internet out of the home. And the second one is coverage. The BBC requires universal availability of our content and services. With our R&D team, we're working on some of the UK government's sponsored 5G trials. We're hoping that 5G might be able to meet these challenges. So, 5G could become a new broadcast platform for the BBC. But there's lots of work to do to make that happen. As part of the 5G Rural First Consortium, we've been working in the Orkney Islands to look at how 5G technologies might be used in the future to deliver radio services to people. So the feedback from the trialist has been overwhelmingly positive. What we're thinking about now is how we might scale that trial up. So that, that's key to our interest in, in 5G, really. It's about trying to make sure that everyone has access to these, these new services. So 5G could help us reach our audiences better. But could it also enable new types of experiences? I think one of the really exciting things about the potential of the 5G network is to enable highly personalised end-user experiences, especially the potential in storytelling. We made an augmented reality experience at the Roman Baths in Bath, and the idea was that you could get a little window into how they looked at different points in time. The thing that makes 5G so interesting is we can have these rich, data-heavy experiences. I, I, think, I think there's a lot of things that we can do. We just have to invent it, and we can do that without the constraints of worrying about, well, is the tech going to stop us? Because I think in this case, the tech just allows us to do so much more. So, 5G could give our producers new creative ideas, but could it also change the way we make content? What we're thinking about is, well, what if we have cameras that are connected via 5G? What does that start to enable? So what are the workflows that we can get if we've got very high bandwidth, very low latency kit? For news, low-cost lives, for sports, for music festivals, we may be able to cover things that we just can't simply afford to cover now. So there's a number of areas of 5G that will enable us to do that. Uh, one of which is the greater bandwidth, so we can get higher quality video signals down without as much compression in. Secondly, latency and predictable latency, so if we have two cameras we need to make sure that when we cut from one to the other, that actually works and there's no jump. One of the challenges that we have is that this space is very much owned by the telecoms industry. So BBC R&D are taking a leading role in making sure that the uh, standards bodies actually hear the requirements for public service media. We're working with our colleagues in the EBU, the European Broadcasting Union, um, as well as colleagues from around the world. Uh, and if we're going to continue broadcasting content of high quality to our audiences, we need to make sure that the telecoms industry really understand our workflows. So, there we have it. 5G could enable the BBC to reach more audiences, improve the way it makes content, and do something creatively new.